It is 11.15, and when this uh, word made its way around the newsroom tonight, I was asking all of my colleagues now, do you know what a seisha is? And none of them did, which made me feel better. But we said, we know what a seisha is, or who can explain it to us? Betsy Kling, and she's got props, apparently. Enclosed body of water. Okay. Water moves, and it sloshes back and forth. That's a seish. That's a seish. There you go. Right. Seish in a bottle, everybody. All right. Um, yeah, so we do indeed have that. Uh, let me, uh, can we take Skycam, our city cam, CSU cam real quick, Frank? Yeah, he's, he's pushing buttons back there. I got to go restart my computer real okay. quick. Uh, there you go. There's downtown Cleveland. We did have some rain tonight, and bless his heart, the umpire at the Guardians game just let the boys play right through it. Uh, so uh, we definitely had some some decent uh, rain that came down, and then it went away. All right, now I should have a picture coming up for everybody uh, real quick. Stand by. Here it comes. There it is. All right, let's take a look at the winds right now. We still have an easterly wind, light winds east, definitely higher wind speeds on the west end of the lake, which has been very bumpy today. The ferries did not run. Still producing nine foot waves, eight foot waves now. Live buoy data for you here. Eight foot waves just off of Cleveland. Five footers on the north end of the lake. And then on the east end of the lake, only two foot waves. Remember, an east wind will produce a little bit of a calming shadow on that east end of the lake. Uh, the, the lake, uh, the land will hold down uh, the wind speeds and then all of a sudden the wind picks up as it's going across the near frictionless surface of the lake. So that's why we get those bigger wave heights here. Not only that, we get a push. So all of that wind is coming on the long axis of the lake and it is pushing the water out of the east end of the lake. So Buffalo's water level is 12 inches below where it was last night, at least as of earlier today. And at the same time, Toledo's water level was going up over 24 inches this afternoon. That's how much water is moving by the wind. Just like in that little glass, it's starting to slosh back and forth. We have the slosh happening on Lake Erie. And that water level has started to come back down as the winds are beginning to ease off. Tomorrow, we will still have an east wind at 10 to 15. That is still going to produce some very bumpy conditions, three to five foot waves, especially on the west end of the lake. A little bit lesser uh, wave action on the east end of the lake. We do have those few showers that I mentioned before, especially out towards Sandusky, Norwalk, Huron, and even over toward Vermilion. This is the last of it, though. Other than these little few showers, we should stay mostly dry tonight. It's still going to feel very damp. Problem is the remnants of Helene, which are sitting now in southern Indiana and northern Kentucky, will probably see another lobe of moisture move through tomorrow afternoon. It's going to pick up a little bit of extra kick off of the Atlantic and produce some more rain for us. So so what's left of Helene? It's called post-tropical. That means it's lost all of its tropical characteristics. It's no longer uh, has any connection to tropical heat content. And what's going to end up happening is this thing is just going to sit here. This is all the way through the day tomorrow. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. Watch what happens as we go into Sunday. It's not moving. It's just stagnant. And that means we will continue to have waves of rain. Now you're thinking by Monday it's got to get better, doesn't it? Nope. Still sitting there, but by Monday night, we should finally start to get a push coming, and that is because we have a cold front that's going to get here on Tuesday and finally bring a little fall feel to northern Ohio. National Design, our hour-by-hour -hour forecast through your day tomorrow. A few isolated showers in the morning, temperatures in the upper 60s. We'll continue to have a few showers around midday, but it looks like later on in the evening, we'll probably have another push of rain that starts to work its way from south to north through northern Ohio. There you see it. Uh, and it looks like uh, then by Sunday we'll have more of that rain hanging around in the overall forecast. It doesn't add up to a whole lot, which means it's pretty light rain. So don't cancel your plans just like tonight. They were able to play through it. I think you're going to be able to play through it. This Helene's leftover should be right over here on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday is when the cold front comes through. There you go. On Wednesday, it's fall, y'all, and temperatures are going to be in the 60s. We'll make it into the low 70s by the end of next week, and that cool air is going to stick around even into next weekend. Russ? All right, Betsy. Thanks a lot.